Hello, hello. I just wanted to jump in and share a word with you today. And I also wanted to tell you about three places that I'll be speaking right here in the future. I'm, I've been enjoying my summer and the summer is coming to a close. People have gone back to school. And so pretty soon we're going to go back to Bible study. But first of all, I wanted to share a word. So your thoughts get planted in your heart. So then whatever you believe in your heart, you'll confess with your mouth. So whatever you think, so man, think it, so he is, sends you into your future. And right now is a critical time to think like God thinks. Okay, it's so important that we renew our mind. And I saw this in the scriptures. I was preparing for a sermon. And so I'll just let y'all know I'm going to be preaching or teaching at the Table Church, which is my, Mark and I's home church. And if you don't have a church, we'd love for you to come try us out. We're just starting out. We're growing. It's a small church. It is awesome. Summer and Joey Laird are the pastors. And everybody has a seat at the table. It is just amazing what God's doing. But I was reading, and I just want to share today, we know that... Um, it starts in your thoughts, it's planted in your heart, and then you walk it out. But this is what I saw it in scripture. So this was in John 13. So I'd love for y'all to read it yourself. In John 13, verse 2, it's talking about how Jesus was at the table at the Last Supper, and Judas got a thought. Okay, so here it is in 13, 2. So it was during supper that Satan, having already put the thought of betrayal of betraying Jesus in the heart of Judas. So the thought, he entertained the thought. Now, he wasn't even considering, he just was thinking upon. That's why scripture says, think upon things that are good and righteous and pure. So here we see in 1327, I'd love for you to read this for yourself. It is so paramount. Our thoughts are so important. What we put into our gateways, our mind, through our eyes and ears, and what people say and what we say, uh, matter. So here we are in 13, John 13, 27. Then after he took the bite of food and talking about Judas, Satan entered into and took possession of Judas. So I just want you to really see here in the scriptures, Satan hadn't possessed him yet. He had only entertained the thought. And so Satan wants to trip you up through your thoughts, but he can only do it if you take the thought and allow it to take root in your heart. So anyway, I'm going to I tell you about another thing, poor conference. I, it's going to be, and all this is going to be in the notes below, but there's going to be five coaches, and that's going to be on September 16th, which is a Saturday. You do have to sign up for it. There's a link below because there's a limited number of people, and there's going to be five coaches that are going to teach, and then we're going to have breakout sessions, and that's what I'm going to teach on is the power of your thoughts, how to believe and think like God so that you can move forward in everything God's got planned for you. So many people have books in them. They have a job promotion. This is the year of the door, okay, well, on the Jewish calendar. He's given me a vision of an elevator. God wants to move you forward. So poor conference is September 16th. And like I said, I'll be doing a breakout session on just this piece here, changing your thoughts to think like God. This week at the Table Church, which is Sunday the 20th, I would love for you to come bring a friend and I'll be teaching there. And that is at 10 o'clock at the Table Church. It's Pastor Joey Laird, Laird's church. And then I just wanted to tell you that Bible study will be starting October 19th for eight weeks straight except Thanksgiving. October 19th on Thursdays, every Thursday for eight weeks straight except for Thanksgiving. So everybody's been asking, when's Bible study starting? When are we going to get back together? And um, I've been traveling a lot. I, I'm going to Florida a lot. I'm writing a lot. I'm resting a lot. And so come October 19th, I've got lots of downloads the Lord's been giving me and I cannot wait until we can get together. So here again, this week, Sunday the 20th at the Table Church, poor conference on September 16th, and then Bible study starts on October 19th. I hope to see you, if not at all of them, at least one. So leave me some comments below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are, what, your, what God's been telling you. Just share whatever you'd like in the comments. I'd love to talk back and forth, and I will see you soon.